morning, boys. Hi, boy. How are you, Mitchie? Jump on, mate. John, good to see you. There you go, mate. Very good. Well, we're at Dolan's Bay Port Hacking. I'd say I got up early, but that'd be an overstatement. I think it's still midnight. This is John Tailforth from Tackle Oil Terran Point and young Mitch Ferguson. How are we going, boys? Good, good. Yeah, good, Paul. Now, this is Port Hacking. You love it, mate? Yeah, mate, this is one of my favourite fishing spots. Uh, beautiful morning this morning. I thought we might duck out the front, get a bit of bait, and then uh, see what's on offer. Sensational. We're heading out the front, which means we're going to the ocean, but it's a beautiful morning. It should be just perfect. So, John, every time you tell me to get out the front, and go to the good spot, you hook a squid. Yeah. So maybe a good spot isn't where you think a good spot really is. <laughs> Have you ever thought about that, John? Maybe this is the good spot. And have you seen a, a trend in the last few years, a change from people going from pinks and blues and green squid jigs to these natural colours? Yeah, the natural ones are definitely the go. Um... Yep, that's definitely the go. <laughs> Christy, we need look at my leg and the back of my boat. Darling, I hope you got some Omo and some nappy sand at home because I need it. I love squid fishing, I just can't remember why. Oh, it's an arrow squid, mate. Yeah. Now that's interesting. Do you get a lot of arrows in here? Yeah, they come in from time to time. We get the uh we get the calamari more during the cooler months, yep. and in the summer the, uh, the arrowhead squid come in. There you go, so it's an arrow squid. If we just turn him around like this, you'll see these flaps on the side there, they only go about halfway down his body, whereas the calamari we caught earlier, the flaps actually come all the way around there. And if you're buying squid to eat, calamari squid tastes a lot better than arrow squid, but they're both good bait. Oh no, mate. It is just the most sensational morning. There's some Japanese people from Yozuri I was speaking to the other day via the internet, and they just love their squid fishing. I think that's one of the most popular forms of fishing in Japan. They just love it, and they've got this technique where they really get the jig moving. In Australia, quite often, we're just happy to let the jig sort of sink down in the right area, give the rod tip a little shake. But these guys like to really get that rod going and get that jig moving around. And as soon as you do that, you tend to find a squid. Now this guy is just hooked, so I might just slip him up for John to net. And John, if you could avoid the ink for me, that would be just lovely. Beautiful, mate. Those little jigs are working a treat, aren't they? They're a great jig. Is it just, oh, a, just a pearl, obviously represents a little prawn. Yeah. And can I say one other thing? Can I have this? This is one of the greatest things to ever have on a boat as far as tools go. It's a squid net and it'll save you a lot of pain and a lot of ink. I got done earlier, but there's nothing better than getting your little calamari in the net like that. There he is, look at that beautiful little calamari. So gorgeous. And the squid net, guaranteed to save you many, many hours of pain. That's two, three. three. Yellow tail. Just watching the sound that I try and find some bait. You can see we're in 10 metres of water. That is bait. And every time we drop down on it, Mitchie's catching a whole string of fish. Lift it up. Give it to John. Good man. Got any, mate? Yeah. Good man. I think I've got one or two. Maybe. You got one or two. You can feel them, can you? Yeah. Beautiful. You swing them over and I'll get them for you, okay? Oh, well done. You've got two, all right. Beautiful. Swing them over. Good man. Now, in a perfect world, you don't really want to touch these things. You want to get them in the tank. Give them a shake. I'll just get the hook out of the back of my head. And then we'll get them a hand. You might say you've been fishing long, Paul. 
No, but I'm thinking about taking it up. And before you ask, yes, my husband does fish. Like anything in life, proper preparation prevents poor performance. We've spent an hour and a half this morning catching calamari and now some yakas, and we're going out to the big fish grounds. It would have been easy to get a block of pilly shoot out there, all keen and eager, but now we've got the ingredients to make the perfect fishing recipe. We've come out of Port Hacking Inlet and now we're in the Pacific Ocean. And that landmass behind me, about 100 metres, that's a little island you might be familiar with. It's called Australia. We're out here, it is a beautiful day when we're slow trolling. Now, even though my E-Tex will do 75 kilometres an hour top speed, in idle they're using 0.7 of a litre of fuel per hour, believe it or not, and we are going along at just two knots, which means everything is perfect. The trap is set for big kingfish and salmon. just told through a lot of weed then. I just had to check because it was a very big heavy weight. Can you feel the fish there Mitchie? Yep. Good man. Just keep a nice bend in that rod. Maybe I'll let you come over this side. Oh what have we got? Oh. It doesn't look pretty. That is the biggest ugliest Sergeant Baker I've ever seen. Am I correct in my fish identification there John? Yep that's a Sergeant Baker. And that is ugly. Go Mitchy. Back it off, John. You right, mate? Good man, I want to just tighten that drag up a touch for you. Can you feel it? Yeah. Big one? Mate, what you can do, jump up on this esky if you want. Because this boat was built for people who are three foot, three foot taller than you. But how old are you? Eleven. Eleven? Well, you're doing well. What do you got, mate? I think it's a kingy. It is a little kingy, good boy. I'll move this rod for you, I'll bring him around this side. Well done. So the trolling is working well. Bring him round. Oh, bring him up. There we go. Yellow tail kingfish. Now Mitch, he's got a bit of go in him, hasn't he? Yeah, he's a bit strong. Have you ever caught kingfish? Never. No way. This is no. your first kingfish ever. Yep. What do you think of them? They're good fish. Now, your old man told me that last night you didn't sleep very much. You were so excited about coming fishing. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't sleep. Sensational. Well, that is a yellowtail kingfish. We'll find a few bigger ones later, hopefully, but it's a cracking start. You got him, mate? Yep. I'll just turn the ratchet off for you. You want to hop up in the esky again? No, I'm right. You good? Beautiful. What do you reckon you got this time? Ah, uh, kingy. A kingy, it's fighting, isn't it? I see him out the back there, mate. He looks a bit green and gold, so he could be a kingfish. You're doing well, mate. That's a very big rod and reel. Has the fish got you or have you got the fish? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Good man. Oh, I was going to grab him for you. If you're having so much fun, I'll let him go. We'll do another lap, eh? Oh, good man. That's all right. Just bring the leader over here. And in. He comes. Mitch. He's not a monster, but just look at the way he glistens in the sun, mate. It's good. And look, his tail's not as yellow, is he? No. Nah. Do you want to put him back? Yeah. You're in charge? There you go, mate. Just watch him because he's spiky, I can tell you that. Just slide him over the side there. Mm -hmm. Away he goes. some curry mate. <laughs> I put that it's light rod right out I was talking about because these seem to be rat kingfish and I thought it'd be nothing better than actually giving Mitch a bit of fun on the light gear. I think it was in the water for about 
2.4 seconds. <laughs> I put out a Yozuri Crystal Minnow with a deep diving bib. It gets right down in about eight metres of water, and this lure will dive to six metres. Has it given you a hard time, mate? Yeah, it's bull lucker. What do you mates at school? What do you mates at school going to think about this? You reckon? They're going to hate me. <laughs> That's in the nicest possible way, of course. You're doing well, mate. Just for people who want to get into fishing, just keep a bend in that rod. If you keep the rod bent, it means you keep the hooks in the fish, and everyone's a winner. Have you seen him yet, mate? No, I can't. Uh, he's going to play up in a minute and take the big dive, so just take your time. Watch those E-Techs. Good man, there he is. Just slow. Look, there's heaps of fish behind him too. What have we got? Gear. Oh, it is another little kingy, just a pup. But on light gear, they're good fun, aren't they, mate? Yeah. You're doing well. Geez, they like going under the boat, don't they? There he is. Okay, stop whining. Just lean back. Good man. Oh, we've got another line. That would have slowed him down a bit. Okay. This guy got caught twice. Oh. Let me just say, wherever you are, they're slippery little suckers. How you going, Mitch? A bit tough. Have you seen him yet? No, I can't see him. He's under the boat. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what he looks like underwater. Because I've got our pole cam here. And it can actually look under the water. It gives us all our magnificent shots. So you can have a look on the video, mate. You can actually go and see your fish. How cool is that? That's awesome. There's our kingy. What do you think of catching kings, mate? It's fun. Yeah? That's that lure I was talking about. That is a crystal minnow by Yozuri. It's a deep diver. Sorry about your face there, Mitchie. Uh -huh. They are just deadly. Whether it's barramundi or kingfish, it doesn't matter. They produce the goods. I've got one question, eh? What sort of subject did you have at school today? Um, English, maths, and one assignment. So, could we say we did a kingfish assignment for the teacher? Would that yeah. pass? So, what's your teacher's name, mate? Mr. Batley. Mr. Batley, please be kind to Mitch. Today he's taking part in a different school, a kingfish school. Good boy, keep going. Keep going, Mitch, well done. And he come up with all his mates. He's a better fish. Oh! Now he's letting you have it, isn't he? <laughs> when he come up, I can just see kingfish everywhere, mate. That's a nice That's fish. That's a good sign. It is a good sign, isn't it? Oh! You can tell he's a better fish because he's actually stretching me a bit. Mitchie! Now, yeah, the old tea towel's good. If you put the tea towel over the eye, just like that, it tends to slow him down a bit. He's now relaxed, I can bring him back up. And Mitchie, that's starting to become a good sized big one. He's a bit better, isn't he? Yeah, he's better than the other ones. Absolutely, now. Let's see if we can just pull that hook out. You can see the hook's just in the corner of the jaw there. That was about three seconds of trolling. The hook's out. We'll put him back, mate, well done. Great effort, you even hooked him and all. Oh and he's pretty keen to go. Yep, this is a good fish. How you going, Mitchie? Yep, one good. You're on? Yep. <laughs> How good is that? We've literally trolled about two metres. <sighs> just turned the E-Tex on. Both baits got nailed. There must just be that many kings here. How you going, mate? Doing good? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. And this little stick, you can see, just buckled over. And the kingies, they do some serious damage. Even the little oh oh that is the, that was that was the biggest Australian salmon I think I've ever seen. He was that long. Johnny can't believe it. he just jumped and threw the bait. It was a beast. Let's see what Mitch has got. Might be another salmon. That was huge. Have you seen your fish yet, mate? No, I can't see him yet. Oh, there he is out the back. back. 
Oh. Now, is he a salmon too? It looks like it. I think it might be, mate. Yeah. Do you want me to show you what your salmon looks like underwater? Let's have a look. Isn't he a beautiful fish? How good does he look, Mitchie? He looks awesome underwater. Okay, bring him in, mate. We'll get him. All right, let's get him Oh, in. look, Mitch, there's a whole pot of dolphins coming too. Look, they're everywhere. Yeah. Look at them. Whoa. Look at the dolphins. They are everywhere coming right towards us, mate. I'll lift your fish out. They might want to eat him. Isn't that just beautiful, mate? It's awesome. Can you grab the pliers for me, please, off the bench there? Is this the biggest salmon you've ever caught? I haven't ever caught Australian salmon, ever. So it's the biggest one you've ever caught too? Yes. And you'll see we're using an owner's circle hook there. He's hooked right in the corner of the jaw, so I should be able to just pop that out. That hook just comes straight out. How beautiful those dolphins going past, yeah. right? Now, do you want to let this go or take it home and show your mum? Oh, I'll let it go. I get a lot of emails at iFish TV and I try to answer everyone personally. One question people always ask is, Paul, how do you get that amazing underwater footage? Well, this is pole cam. Now, I left a proper pole in the garage at home, so I've got a paint roller's brush, the lead runs up to our camera, I stick this over the side, I'm running along and just check out that dolphin footage. It is unbelievable. So when we're out filming, sometimes we put the bait and the rods away and we just try and appreciate what is happening out here every single day. Oh, how cool is that? There's four of them, look at them. Oh, Richie, come and grab this, mate. Oh, a few head shakes, there you go. It's a good one. Beautiful. Got a bit of go? Yeah, it's, it's going. Mate, you're pumping and wide. And who taught you how to do that? <laughs> Who taught PlayStation. You that? PlayStation? What do you mean PlayStation? My you... fishing game. Your fishing game. Is this better than your fishing game on PlayStation? Just bring it around the back here, mate. Oh. So is this better than a game? Yep. The real thing? What have Way we got? Better. It's a big fish down there. The most important thing when you take kids fishing, you just keep working on that, Mitch, is to catch fish. I know that might sound silly, but you just gotta keep kids interested because there's things like PlayStations which are always trying to steal their attention. Keep him away from those motors, you're doing a great job. So if you can take them out and actually catch them a fish, doesn't matter whether it's out here in the Pacific Ocean or whether it's at a trout farm or your local creek, just catch kids a fish and they'll be very happy to come again and again. Come on, Mitchie, I can see your sinker. And if I can grab the leader for you, it's a little king. It's only a pup, mate. That is only a puppy, Mitchie. Now, come back around here. Well, Mitchie, there's your little kingfish. That hook's just in his gob. Oh, and he's like those big whiting in South Australia. You slap him in the kidneys. Even these small ones, mate, they go hard, don't they? Yeah, quite like a... Quite so what, like a what have you caught today? Uh, salmon, a uh, key, some squid, some uh, yakka. So you've had a good day? Yes, been fun. Slightly better than school? <laughs> Now, when you go back to school, you can tell the teachers that you caught a kingfish. Yep. And his scientific name is Cerioli lalandi. I'll remember that. Can you say that? Cerioli lalandi. That's pretty close, see? <laughs> you don't have to go to school to learn something, but stick at school. What do you want to do when you grow up? Fish. I like your style. I said that and the teacher laughed at me. This one's going back. 